All right, hello and welcome back to the Iron Noob uh, episode, uh, whatever. I uh, I used my, my 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 deep deep connections with the with the Hesidius, and uh, I, I got my 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 graceful set recolored. It looks really nice. I I really love the 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 green color on this. It looks really really cool. E. Cost me ninety marks of grace, and we and uh, the a hundred percent in Hasidius' favor to do that. <clears throat> a little bit funny to me, being uh, being Swedish, uh, is the 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 character that you go and uh, recolor your gear at. the The tailor there, he's he's called Austin, um, and uh, in Swedish that would be Osten, which which means the the cheese. <clears throat> okay, so um, fun, fun trivia for you. Um, you, you're welcome. You, you're very, very welcome. So, between episodes here, uh, I have worked on on my 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 melee skills. Basically, we are up to seventy in attack, sixty nine strength, and sixty defense. I'm gonna continue working on that uh, on the side. We are also up to seventy one in agility, because I needed some more marks of grace for the for the recolor. I also did uh, one uh, Slayer task to get us up to level twenty two, and just did a hundred hill giants. I think. Well, I I I know that the, there was hill giants. I think it was a hundred of them. The, the next task that I got was for hellhounds. I have no idea if, I, if I'm even ready for hellhounds. They sound dangerous. But yes, um, th 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 that that is neither here nor there um, because I did the slayer task for for a reason. Uh, and and uh, <clears throat> today we, we're gonna try to take on two new quests. Well, I mean they're they're not new. They're new to me. I've never done it before. So what what I'm what I'm gonna do here is I'm I'm gonna go to my inventory and I'm gonna gonna open it up and and you you're gonna be able to see all of the the stuff that I've prepared for for this quest and uh, I'll, I'll give you five seconds to to guess what what quest it is. If you guessed uh, below ice mountain, you you I have no idea what you're smoking. We're doing Ernest the chicken and uh, animal magnetism, um, because my my ranged is is lagging behind a little bit, and I, I want to get that up. Um, yeah, I would just want to start working on it and the the, the accumulator, or whatever it's called. The the all of our malarkey is is gonna be very useful. Can you please help me? I'm in a terrible spot of trouble. Ah, sounds like a quest. I'll help. Yes, yes, I suppose it is a quest. My, my fiancé, Ernest, and I uh, came upon this house. Seeing as we were, we were a little lost, Ernest decided to go in and ask for directions. That was an hour ago. That house looks spooky. Can you go and see if you can find him for me? I'll see what I can do. Thank you, thank you. I'm very grateful. And I am very graceful. <laughs> okay, so we need to go in here and, and get some fish food for some reason. Fish food acquired. Um, you, you stay away from me, ghost. Poison acquired. Uh, use the poison on the fish food. I can do. <laughs> okay. So we found a, a key in there. Now we need to go... Put the poisoned fish food in the the fountain. There seems to be a pressure gauge in here. And a lot of dead fish. Okay, we got a pressure gauge. We'll go in here and uh, pick up the red tube. Let's search the bookcase. See what's in there. Oh, it's a secret... No, it, it, it's it's quest like this, uh, especially that that makes me very happy that I started playing this game in twenty twenty one in instead of, you know, two thousand and six or something. 
then again, it would have been way more rewarding to to actually do this, uh, you know, the the normal way. I'm uh, is just I'm 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 too dumb and lazy for, to do that. Really, we need your oil can for for something. That that's kind of the 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 problem though with with the quest help because you you just kind of follow it and you have no idea why really. I I kind of don't have a problem with it though. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I mean that there are also plenty of quests that that is very easy to follow based on uh, on just the dialogues and whatnot. And, and I mean of course we we kind of know what's going on here, but uh, at this point I have no idea why I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm I'm just following what, what I'm supposed to. Oh, what type of spinny are you? Your motor of some sort? Ardenstein. Hello? Be careful in here. There's lots of dangerous equipment. I'm looking for a guy called Ernest. Ah, Ernest, top notch bloke. He, he's helping me with my experiment. So you know where he's, he is then? Did I? Oh no, that's a player. <laughs> I was like, what the? The hell? Oh, okay. <clears throat> He's that chicken over there. Ernest is a chicken? Are you, are you sure? Oh, he he isn't normally a chicken. Or, or at least he wasn't until he helped me test my pullet pullet morph machine. Pullet morph? It was originally going to be called a transmutation machine, but after testing it, it polyp morph, it seems more appropriate. Uh, change him back this instant. Uh, it, it, it's not so easy. My, my machine is broken and the house gremlins have to run off with some vital bits. Well, I, I can look for them. That would be a help. They be, they'll be somewhere in the manor house or its its grounds. The the gremlins never get further than the entrance gate. I'm missing the pressure gauge and a rubber tube. They've also taken my oil can, which uh, I'm going to need to get this thing started again. It just so happen that that yeah okay. Have you found anything yet? I have everything. Give him here then. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank you, sir. I was dreadfully irritating being a chicken. How can I ever thank you? Well, a cash reward is always nice. Of course, of course. Um, 300 coins and, and 4 quest points. Yay! <clears throat> oh, okay. Cool. Um. On to to animal magnetism. Secret bookcase. Woohoo! <clears throat> okay. Hello, Ava. Oh, he hello there, and, and welcome to my humble abode. I it's sadly rather more humble uh, than I'd like. Uh, to be honest, although perhaps uh, y you can help with that. Uh, I would be happy to help to make your home a better place. Yay! I, I, I didn't even have to uh, to talk about a reward. Y you're more gullible than most adventurers, that's for sure. Hey, D -d don't 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 worry though. Uh, I, I I just need you to help fix this vile old bed for me. <laughs> then then I'll find a suitable reward for you. Great. Uh, will I be able to take a nap in it? Oh, don't, don't, don't be silly. Everyone knows that true warriors don't ever sleep uh, or perform many other bodily functions for that matter. Um, I'll come up with something, though. I'm not convinced by just a vague something. Can you be a slight bit more inspiring within your offer? Oh, but what I, what I need is simple. A, a couple of undead chickens. Uh, you should be able to pick some up uh, at the farm near Port Fasmaris. 
I'll use one for for my bed. Th then uh, see what I can make from the other in, in the way of a reward. Uh, I have some ideas involving infinite feathers. Uh, very well then. I shall await my mystery prize with bated breath. Secret door. I actually haven't been in uh, in Mauritania at all since uh, I did my my agility training in Canafis, and uh, that that is actually the the only thing that I've ever done in Mauritania. Like I I haven't really been here at all. Your animals don't look too healthy. Is uh, that fountain thingy in the temple to the east? It's turned them all into zombies. What use are zombie animals? None at all, mate. Except that those worshippers at the temple keep coming and killing them. All for the bones. Don't ask me why. But you're a ghost. Surely you know something about it. I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm a simple ghost with simple needs. All I know is years ago that temple started glowing green and a few months later I woke up dead. That's all there is to it. I do miss the wife though. Tell her I still love her. Would I be able to buy some of your chickens? Talk to my wife and I'll think about it. Hello, uh, how can I help you? I have a message from your husband. He wants you to know uh, that he still loves you despite his ghostly state. The curse of undeath was so cruel. All the men out here succumbed. But Lyra and I were left alive. Ever since that day, I've not been able to speak to him. Tell him I love him, but I, I can't find our savings. I, I know he had our collection of gold and prize cow rosettes rosettes just before the curse struck i'll have a word with them then magic has its uses i suppose your wife says uh, she needs to find the family cash and then wants to know uh, what you did with it tell her i spent it on cheap spirits har har <laughs> fuck nell your sense of humor died too it seems ah <sighs> Uh, just trying to lift your spirits. Ah, uh, I'll rest my case. Suit yourself, stick in the mud. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm not one of them jokels. Tell her I'll, I put it, put it the cash. I put it, I put it the cash in the in the bank like she always told me to. A warning to you too. Uh, annoy her and I'll haunt you till your hair turns white. Your husband says he put the cash in the bank. I'll need his bank pass in that case. Can't you just take a ghost speak amulet then you could talk to him directly. I tried that once but all those other ghosts and even the undead chicken and cow scared me so much I wouldn't try it again for all the cash in Verrock bank. You may not believe me, but she wants me to find your bank pass now. Maybe she said that, maybe she didn't. I think you're just after me savings. Tell her that no one but a fool gives away their bank, their pass numbers. Go tell her now, if you're not a, a double dealing scammer, that is. He says he won't, he won't trust me with the bank pass. What if I gave you some sort of altered go speak amulet to him? Surely that would work. You're so clever. I've overheard passing adventurers say that there is some witch near here who changes go speak amulets. I think she she lives a bit west of that mad professor Fink Fink something past the farming patch. I'll see if I can find her. Big nose and monstrous hat, I assume. I, I wonder where the beautiful young witch is hide. Mysterious indeed, but but in this case she actually looks pretty normal. Oh, okay. Well, well it's, it's a it's a nice little house here. Do you have a door? Oh, there's the door. I just couldn't see it. I'm a, I'm a blind. Hello, which person? Old crone. I'm here about the farmers east of here. 
Alice and her husband are having trouble talking to one another and uh, said you might be able to help. Ah, I know them. Shame about those cows. Why would, would they think that I could help? Alice seems to think they think you could alter a ghost speak amulet in order to allow them to communicate. Well, the, the poor young lady has such family problems. I quite feel her pain. I'd be happy to help. You seem to have one of her golden hairs on your shoulders, so uh, I can use that. In a flash, the crone whisks away an unseen hair from your shoulders. Talk to me again with a ghost big amulet and some space in your backpack and I'll be ready to work on this little good deed. Um, the, the way I plan is quite simple, really. I can mirror part of the unused... Uh, a mystical essence of the ghost beak amulet, bind it to Alice's hair, and thus create a second amulet. The second amulet will be useful for the purpose you desire, though it won't work for any other ghost or uh, human other than the farmer and his wife. I'm here to see if you're ready to do your mystical stuff with the ghost beak amulet. I most certainly am. There you go. Wow. That was quick and painless. Just being a good neighbor. I talked to your wife and thought that if you had a special amulet, you could speak to her and sort out the bank situation without me being involved. Ah, that makes far more sense than I was expecting from a muscle-headed like you. My wife's a clever one. Well, uh, never mind. I'm, I'm desperate enough for those chickens to let that pass. Give me that amulet then, and we'll be seeing seeing about your unnatural desire for chickens. <laughs> okay, you need, need it more than I do, I suppose. Yeah, chicky, 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 chicky. Go, go on, you can do it. Come on, ghosty. Get here, you pesky bird. <laughs> the fuck is going on here? Just catch the chicken. Where did you go? Oh. Get off my land. You heard my husband. Leave now. Always the same. I can never get those animals to myself. Oh, you killed Bessie. Bowing cow hides and feathers. Ah, the chicken is next. Feathers for me. Sneaky undead fowl. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. There you go. <laughs> well, that's one way to catch a chicken, I suppose. Um, okay, so we, we can buy chickens from... From her now, but we need 20 uh, uh, ecto tokens for it. And uh, we need to go to the uh, ectofunctus over there to, to get those. Okay, so we go down here. So we have the slime. And now we need to go up and uh, grind the bones. And that gives one bone meal. Okay. Oh, he's doing it automatically. Cool. And now we go back to, to the ectofunctus to pray. And we have our 20 ecto tokens. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've seen plenty of videos of, of people doing that, but none of them, like, explaining <laughs> what, what to do, really. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Definitely heard about that stuff before, but uh, 
Could I buy those chicken now then? Uh, I can hand over a chicken if you give me 10 of them ecto token thingies per bird. Gonna buy two chickens? Great. I'm I'm laying away me tokens for some killer cows. <laughs> they'll learn they'll learn them bone rustlers. Secret door M my spirit metric devices show me that you have been close contact with ghostly animals. Are we closer to success? Here they are. Amazing success. I, 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 I can look forward to some good night's sleep after that. Can I ask exactly how an undead chicken will help you sleep? Well, well, I, I need the feathers to make m my bed more comfortable. A comfortable bed will help me sleep, obviously. <laughs> really? Obvious, yes. But but why on Gildenor would you need an undead chicken when there are perfectly good live chickens just down the road? Well, well, for a start, undead feathers are much cleaner than living ones. No dust mites or anything. Um, secondly, I, I always think of Ernest when I see a chicken, so m my nerves can't take killing them. Then why do you need a chicken for, for my reward? We already established that I, I don't use a bed. Seeing as uh, how, how you ranger types use so many feathers in your arrows, uh, I was thinking I, I could harness an undead chicken to make an uh, unending supply of, of arrow flights for you. Beats chicken slaying or hanging around in fishing shops, I suppose. Uh, so what, what's next? Well, I need a magnet next, uh, one with purely natural fields and and made from a carefully selected iron bar. Uh, a firm impact when the iron is parallel to Gildenor's field will stab stabilize uh, this field in the rod. Go, go and talk to the witch next door. Hello, hello, my puppet. What brings you to my little room? Alva told me to ask you about making magnets. Something about natural fields and other stuff. Sounded like she needed a farmer, to be honest. Oh, don't don't worry, dearie. Yeah, I can tell you just what to do, and you won't have to worry your pretty head about the complicated bits. No need to patronize me quite so much, you know. I went to anger management classes, my, my lambkin. That, that's why I was treating you so kindly. It's either this way or, or, or of talking or I'll go back to shoving children into ovens. Just bring me five iron bars, though, and you're well on your way to never having to talk to me again. Great, you'll go far. I made some nice painted metal toys for you, Snookums. S uh, toys? S snookums? What, what are you on about, <laughs> you, you deranged old bat? Oh, forget it then. If you won't react to kindness, I'm back to luring infants into my oven. You, you'll have it on, have it on your conscience. Go to the iron mine just northeast of Remington and hit the bar with a plain old smithing hammer while facing north. Then take your new magnet to Ava. Poor girl, having to deal with the, with whippersnappers like you. Uh, while well, looking north, use the hammer on the selected iron. So we have to look that way. Boink, boink. Secret door. I've manufactured the magnet. Here it is. Oh, great stuff. With the witch's influence within the magnet, the undead chicken can use this, I'm sure. The plan is that the chicken will operate the magnet to attract bits of iron and steel. Maybe even your own recently fired arrows. There, there are plenty of totally lost arrowheads laying around in the fields of Gillenor, I bet. <laughs> in addition, arrows uh, which you fire should be able to be attracted back to your quiver by uh, the cunning avian. I begin to understand your plan. Uh, we've covered feathers and arrowheads, now what's next? We need a source of wood but one which which is spiritually active and can regenerate itself that that will save you some axe work in the future try using a wood cutting axe on, on the pesky trees in the garden here the, the ones that that attack rather than the really dead ones uh, they they are probably just the sort of thing we could use they will try to kill me though and i can't fight back 
N now, y you know how those poor guards feel w w when you hide behind mushrooms and fences and attack them from afar. A anyway, I, I reckon you'll be you'll need to try a mithril or better axe uh, on the trees, or, or at least the the trees are a secret wall. I I prepared wrong. I, I took a myth mithril pickaxe instead of a mithril axe. So I have to go get an axe. Hello, and um, what are you after then? I'm here about a quest. I'm here about a quest. Ava said uh, she saw you hanging around the moving trees near Draenor Manor. Ah, you come to the right man. Odd things, those trees. What is it you're needing exactly? I think I need some of the wood from them, but my axe just bounced off the trunk. Sounds like I need a blessed axe. No one really makes them, though, these days. Blessed axes are too soft to cut normal wood since the axe's edge must be replaced by holy silver. I can do, a, do you a favor, though. If you can give me a mithril axe and a, a holy symbol of Saradomen, I can let you have my axe. I'll make myself a new one when no one is pestering me for slayer tasks. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll see whether I can spare an axe and a symbol. Thanks. I, I can spare an axe and a symbol. I can make an axe for you now, if you wish. Remember, it, it will be no use for normal woodcutting after uh, I have added the silver edge. I'd love one. Thanks. Here's a new axe. May it serve you well. And now we chop down the tree. Screw you! There we go. We got undead twigs. Okay, we only we only need that. Secret door. I have that undead wood at last. Uh, well, twigs anyway. Oh, you certainly took your time. I'd say they didn't grow on trees, but I guess you'd be sarcastic about my sense of humor. Uh, maybe quite. Now, now that we have all of the ingredients for the infinite arrows, uh, we just need a container in which we can keep the components in the correct mutual alignment. I've gathered together some uh, research notes from various sources, but I can't quite make out what they mean. If you want to have a go at making them out, just ask me for a copy. I'd like to look at those research notes now, unless you have translated them without me. They, they are still stumping me. Here are the notes. I really hope you, your head doesn't explode from reading them. I'd, I'd find it slightly inconvenient, I'm sure. It, it, it wouldn't be all bad, as your, your body would, would be useful for research after death. Um, what I'd be upset about was uh, if bits of, you, bits of you landed in my nice new bed. Your concern is touching. Bing. Oh, okay. There you go. I've tr uh, translated those notes. See? I've, I'm not just a thuggish moron like you seem to think. Uh, for all I know, it was pure luck. So, so don't jump to any conclusion about your mighty intellect. I can see why you don't have any assistance. You're, you're not exactly easy to work with. Let's get back to the work we're doing then. Uh, remember, this is all a favor to you. I could have just decided to fob you off with a feather duster. I've given you a pattern for the container. You, you'll need to combine them with the polished buttons uh, and a hard leather. Then we're almost done. Good news, eh? If you're having trouble finding buttons, you, uh, I've heard rumors that the Ham Society carries uh, this sort of stuff uh, more than most. Uh, really? Uh, how would you know this strange detail? I hear they lose their clothes a lot uh, to the thieves, so, so they have to make uh, make do with shoddy goods. W whatever the reason, they, they seem to carry buttons uh, about in the pockets. Now we need hard leather. There we go. We got a container. Secret door. Wow, great. Now the arrow manufacturer uh, is ready for use. Uh, there you are. Talk to me if you need more information later. 
Yay! Finally. Oh, animal magnetism done. One quest point, 2,500 wood cutting, 1,000 crafting, 1,000 fletching, 1,000 XP. Uh, 1000 XP in Slayer and uh, uh, an Ava's device. Ooh, finally. Uh, Slayer 24. And that's going to be the the end of, of this episode. I am going to go off and do some range training. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.